welcome back to Minecraft and in a controversial decision, Friday Night Roguelikes. Um, yeah, kind of weird, but uh, I I just I didn't have a good roguelike I wanted to do, so I built this ugly staircase. Wait, hold on. So um, I started the staircase too far back and also uh, too far over, which is why it doesn't actually go to the. Wow, that's just a pit, huh? That's uh, that's not good. Look, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm sorry. Long arms Jerry's just getting in a tizzy over here. Right, now we hop up here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And we throw a thing the floor. This is where it spawns me? Is that a joke? Look at this thing. So an end city, for those who don't know, is a thing in Minecraft. It'll basically skip you like a thousand blocks of that aways. Um, exploring these end islands is what really, really gets me... It's very roguelike-ish to me, um, because Minecraft is already based... is already kind of a roguelike, and is based off of a roguelike in and of itself. Can you plant? Huh, interesting. So can you plant chorus? Hmm. It doesn't seem like it, but maybe I need that block. Oh! Look at that! Okay, cool. Wow, I'm gonna eat good, boys. Oh, I should leave it a little thing. Yeah, I actually, uh, I don't have any idea how I'm going to get back from here. <laughs> I guess I could try to build a... Could try to build a, um... Oh. While well, I'm here... I try to build a nether portal, but I don't know if those work in the end. Alright. You know, maybe if I eat enough of these fruits, I'll become one of them. So, as you can see, chorus fruits, just like uh, their ender pulley brethren, turn you... Uh, they make you teleport. Kind of interesting. Um, definitely a cool game mechanic. And exploring around these forests. Oop. Nice. Exploring around um, these uh, these randomly generated islands. And again, Minecraft is you know the same whenever you come back to it. Just a little. So do enderpearls not hurt you in uh, Bedrock? Because that's a great addition. I've never really enjoyed getting hurt by enderpearls because it means you can't spam them. Giving them a cooldown makes sense, though. So I guess I'm just looking for an end city then, right? I've never done this before. Which is kind of why I wanted to make it a special episode. Why I wanted to make another... It's the Lord. Taking that one with me. Remember, guys, if Jesus was real, he would love you. Maybe. Uh, it's a cool game mechanic to have to get around using these. Did I throw that right? 
must have. So um, it looks like the sound of taking damage is just replaced by the, the suck sound, like the, the warp sound it makes. But you still definitely take damage. Ooh, that's a big one. Hmm. I don't know if that's going to make it. I'm, I'm, I live in fear now. I live in fear of the day when the ender pearl just activates. You know, maybe I won't make this a Friday Night Roguelix. I'll be honest. Um, it's not exactly hard to find, like, cool, fun, interesting roguelikes to play. Sometimes it's just hard to record because they take more work to edit. And so sometimes it can just be hard to find a good, you know, roguelike to play. One that I can play for, like, 30 minutes. Um, and I have to talk about it. Like, I have to give intelligent conversation and discussion of the genre. Um... I wouldn't consider somebody I wouldn't consider myself an expert on roguelikes, which, you know. Why on earth did I start a show where I have to talk about them once a week? Well Shut up. Jeez, I'm having trouble finding one, I'll be honest. Come on. Nice. Getting further and further away from home. Isn't exactly encouraging, but... I should just crack and Google it, you know? Or wait, unless that's one. I keep seeing a, uh, another island in the distance and I'm never sure. Maybe I'm going in circles. That would explain something. Actually, you know what? If this is Friday Night Roguelikes, then I can cut this and come back when I find one. So I'll be right back. All right. So I've been playing for a little bit. I actually took a break to eat dinner. And by dinner, I, of course, mean a single bowl of cereal. Um, oops. I said it to Peaceful while I was running around, but as, a, as it happens, that's uh, actually made me run out of Enderman. Yeah, give it up. <laughs> Nothing, huh? Let's mush on some more of these. So I think I'm... Oh! Yeah, I've been going for a little bit now, and I think... 
I guess that's one of the, the gates back. Oh my god, this is where I came from. I'm going in circles. that the Endermen make is still pretty cool. I don't know why I'm so insistent on building things like this. There. Where do I go from here? Now hopefully that won't shoot me into a pit. you oh boy because what I don't want to happen is sounds like we have a weird thing on our voices to make them randomize like in Doom which is a cool game mechanic I love that always Okay, how about now? No, okay. In that case, just pick up some more of these then, huh? I love the way that End Island looks. The little, the little tea, tea saucers that sit out there. I'm not sure about them. Man, you cannot see that at all. But the bigger islands, especially, um, actually, you know what? With or without the, uh, uh, co uh, uh chorus fruit, that's what it's called. Oh, I hope that was a good throw. Oh, God. Oh, no. That's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. All right. I dropped myself in the... Oops. Am I recording even? I am. All right. I dropped myself back in here. Gonna look around, see if I can't find... Yep, there we go. Alright, this is how we're getting it back. Man, that was real bad, huh? I'm not even that far from the, the spawn. So let's see if I can't even find a... Oh, God, I just realized I lost all that experience. No! Oh, that's crap. Oh my gosh. No, that's filth. That's miserable. That's the worst it's ever been. That's terrible. 
And I just got ganged up on on, on easy mode. It didn't even it's not even a hard. It's not even normal. Please, just come here so I can kill you. I need your goodies, sir. Oh, man. Fine, I'll, go, I'll come to you. Here, this is much safer. And you know what? I'm going to coward out. I know roguelikes are known for the difficulty. I'm a coward. These are my Minecraft items at stakes. I shouldn't have made this a Friday Night Roguelikes. <laughs> if I wasn't recording this, I wouldn't even have to show you that I had done it. That's loud. Okay, now I just gotta find my way back home. Or to wherever that is. It's there. Well, it looks like everything's there unharmed. Of course, I didn't get any blocks or a pickaxe. So I'll need to bring it back up to easy. Slaughter another one of you, Mosakras. No, not you, not you. Nope. Here I go killing again then. Where's he at? Honestly. Just be on your way, all right? Doesn't have to be hard. Doesn't have to be hard. Oh, please, not again. I didn't even get one. All right. The problem with fighting Endermen is that they all look the same. I would love to know about Enderman society. But I would hate for it to be like... Actually, no. I wouldn't love to learn about Enderman society. Because I, I feel confident in saying that it would be really stupid. I just had a mini heart attack there when looking at that little island and uh, not seeing my items. All right, Daddy's here. Come back to Papa. Gee, so Pete, everything's broken. Wait, why do I? Where did I get this? These are useless. All these bows are useless now. I, I had blocks. Why did I bother dig? Ah. Oh. I'm aware that this is a wasteful way to build a bridge, but I don't care. Aesthetic, you know? It's more important than life. Only three? Oh, I hope that lands. No, wait, I hope it doesn't. All right. It's so scary. I wish it didn't have to be. Like, this is, this is terrifying. I'm going to have a heart attack. Okay, hopefully that'll land. Okay. 
I think I'm out of the woods, so I am going to crank that difficulty back up. Crank that, son. And then let's just go explorer in. Like, I can't look because of all these ender people. Like, the thing about Endermen is, like, they live in such a cool place that I'm like, oh, yeah, I would love to, like, world build around here. But, like, would I? Because it might be stupid. Like, I love learning about Krypton. But anytime Krypton is, like, the main thing anywhere, I don't care. I, I'm, I just instantly lose interest. It's automatically dumb. I mean, not necessarily, but it's it's so easy for it to be, you know? Ooh, that's a pit. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I've been I've been hunting for like an hour and I still haven't found one. And like I I've taken what, a couple of months to do what most people do in the first couple of hours of playing Minecraft? But, um, it's kind of because I was originally, like, playing this to go back to my roots. You know, recapture my nostalgia. Feel like, uh, what is that? The blocks are a different color over there. What is that? Oh, it's another thing. Wait, so maybe more than one can spawn. So maybe I haven't gone in circles. Maybe I have and I didn't know. Or maybe I only just now started going in circles. I don't know how that'd be possible. But it could happen. You know, I've lost all respect for Taylor Swift. That doesn't have anything to do with the topic at hand, but I was just thinking about it. I've got one of her songs stuck in my head for some godforsaken reason. Those are my towers. All right, I'm going to keep heading this way. Yeah, that's a, definitely another portal. It's got like a purple beacon beam. Are you? He is mad at me. You know, I was just thinking that a Minecraft uh, roguelike would be interesting, and then I remembered that um, Minecraft Dungeons does in fact exist, and it's just Minecraft Diablo. That's, that's a really weird and cool effect. Like, I also just love the Endermen themselves. Like, their ability to teleport, the fact that they can tell when you're not looking at them and when you are. The fact that they live here and definitely originate here, but they can be found in every other dimension. Like, the fact that they're so tall. What is that? Like, they're just so weird and cool. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'll just... I'll eat these. Like, Minecraft does not have world building. Not really. I think we, I think that's one. I think we found one. Okay. I'm at like 11, 10, 100 and 900 now. So if I die on the way there, I'll be okay, I guess. God, I should have brought torches. I'm such a 
dingus for not bringing torches. Yep, that's definitely an end city. Or at least a tower. Sorry, sir. Excuse me. Oh, man. That's definitely... I think it's just a tower. That sucks. It could be better. Um, But this is definitely our first one. Actually, let me just start and stop the recording so I can have a cool little transition play. All right. I took the opportunity to run myself closer before coming back in. We're going to see. We're, we're, we're just going to dive in. Oh, man. You can make bricks out of endstone? Is that what I'm seeing? That's super cool. How do you get that in here? And what's this handsome purple stone? Endstone bricks, yeah. Well, what about these, huh? Why are you up me? What What do you... Oh, that's funny. When I read out my coordinate... Oh, it's the... What are you? It makes me float. Not for long, but it does. Shulker shell. Oh, these are the, 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 the shulker boxes I've seen. Okay. I can vibe that. These don't appear to be stairs, just sla <laughs> That's stupid. Why is it just normal wooden ladders? I know that there's only one type of ladder, but... Do they have wood to make ladders, or do they have to... Is that why they steal blocks? Jeez, oh Pete. Oh, this was stupid. Oh, this is really dumb. What? I okay, it's fine. It's okay, Alfred. Crunch. Um, whoa. And rod. And banners. Interesting. -er. Yeah, a lot of these I've never seen before. I knew that banners were in the game. I've collected several banners from my conquests with the, uh, the, what are they called? The fellows. Oh, gracious, help me. See, I think a shulker box is like a portable chest. Um, yes, it is. I have seen this around. I do recognize those. <laughs> Shulker shells. So I'll be able to make them. That's cool. Um, I've always appreciated that. I thought that was always a really cool idea. Uh, I should get a... Uh, actually, wait. Let me get back up here. Punch a hole out of the side. Where's the, the out? This way? It is. Cool. Radical. Um, no elytra, though, which is what I came here to look for. <laughs> I was hoping to phase through the floor, but that's fine, I suppose. Um, yeah, I've always liked the idea of having your inventory not be like a backpack or a portable chest or something that makes, like, sense. Just it being this semi-organic block. Like, essentially a mutant clam you just found. That was always a fun idea, you know? As I said, Minecraft doesn't really have true world building. But what it lacks in that, it makes up for in silly ideas that are pretty fun. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to off-camera run around and explore some more and see if I can find another one. 
Uh, this one took me like an hour to find, so I don't know when I'll come back. But when I do, I will say hey. Hey everyone, so I haven't been very far, but I saw this in the earth and I was like, oh, it's a sign. This is where I'm supposed to put the cross that I found. And you know what? I figure I may as well just do some peaceful sprinting through the end. Oh, man. It's so dangerous to work in here. I've been seeing so many weird things, though, that, like, I honestly just did want to record again. But, like, I'm trying to keep my difficulty high when I'm recording in here, so it's the end that you like. But, like, I don't want to throw it's just kind of annoying to deal with Enderman. And, like, I know that typically a uh, badass gamer such as myself is not supposed to be like, oh, I, that's annoying. I don't want to do that. Um, as we've discussed, I am a coward. <sighs> so many weird things in the ends world generation. Like, these weird, like, I just found a triangle. Like, I found just so many weird things, you know? Okay, I'm gonna have to... Pillar my way over there. Like, yeah, I, I really don't want to get knocked off one of my little one-wide bridges while I'm building it by an Enderman. Sorry. I don't want to get knocked off one of my one-wide bridges by an Enderman. Without an elytra and some fireworks. Oh, man. Guys, if you could see what my head just did, I... I need to take a break. Hold on. I feel like I'm going to get sick. I, I just... I wanted to stop backing up, but I was holding the, the, the S. Yeah, I was holding the walk backwards button, which is S, and I was holding shift at the same time. And my brain just had to be like, okay, which one of these do I let go of? And I went to let go of shift. Like, I could feel my, my pinky slackening on the key. I keep doing it. I'm I'm doing it to myself. This is this is my fault. <sighs> All right. Land or land passing at least. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Nice. <gasps> <laughs> that's not good. Oh, that's a scary one. All right. So I found a single end tower, but not quite an end city. Not what I would like out of one, at least. Uh, I think there's also a ship that you can find, um, which interests me greatly. I'm not a pirate or anything, but I... Uh, I appreciate them. I appreciate their work. <gasps> oh, it's go time. Bip. There we go. It took me a while to... Yeah, it took a little while to suck me away. Oh, man, that's really far out there. It's so much bigger than I thought it was. Oh, my God, it's huge. That's going to be the rest of the... <gasps> it's a ship! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Go, go, go. So big. It's so much further away than I anticipated. Excuse me, Mr. Ender person. Oh, I think I looked at one. Sure did. So, I don't know what all is new in the end, really. 
I know that there's a... All right, we're here. I know that there's um, the Enderman, as there's always been. Oop, and here I go. All right. So, oh, you just craft them together. That's that's nice and easy. So I can't really do anything about this. Oh, I just have to wait for it to expire. Uh, I guess I should have brought milk. So this is a huge tower. Oh my god, these things are growing in it. Oh. Nice. Does it go up another floor? <laughs> I thought it did for a second. I want to get some of these and start growing them back home. <laughs> that was dumb of me. Beep 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 beep. Yeah, this is gonna be. Why are these messing with my head? It's just half slabs. Why are the the stairs weird? You're dangerous. You almost have to like set yourself up. Like you have to you have to go and be ready to fight them when you're like already in safety. Okay. Enemies, enemies, enemies. Nope. Wow, it keeps going up. There's the ship, I think. I can already see shulkers. You know, if they hit me, it wouldn't be too bad. Because I would just be able to... There you go. I would be able to ascend in here without having to do a jumping puzzle. Although now I'm kind of... waiting. Skibidi beep 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 beep. Wow, there's so much. So I went that way. Ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, of course, the issue with getting a diamond chest plate is... Oh, boy. Oh, this ain't it. The issue with getting a diamond chest plate is that I'm currently looking for an elytra, which will replace the uh, diamond chest plate. But that's a... Uh... Why is this ender chest empty? Because my ender chest is empty back at home. Whoa, that's really cool. Okay. Um. Yeah, get that, get that. Yeah, get that. So this means that I should be able to... I'll keep... I'll get that in there. I'll get that. So this should mean that I'm able to pick all those things up back at home. Because at first I was confused as to why it was empty, but I think it's literally just because I forgot to put anything... Or no, I would I would put things in my, my chest at home, and I would not want them in there. I would want them elsewhere too much. Oh boy, here we go again. Up and up and up. Oh, you need silk touch to uh, get the things off. So it looks like if you stand at a place where they can't shoot you, like you can position their shell between you between... No, you can position the shulker inside the shell in between the shell and you. No, you can put... Why am I doing this to myself? I'm making it harder. You can put the shell in between you and the shulker. Meaning... Oh no! No, no, no! I warped through the ceiling when I ate the chorus fruit. Oh, can you kind of bat them away? That's useful. Quite handy, in fact. 
shouldn't have tunneled through here because now I don't actually have a way in. Quantum tunneling, I mean. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack here. So much to explore. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm I'm just I'm doing it too fast. I need to slow down and be patient about it. Or I need to turn my recording off. I was right the second time. I should have turned my recording off. I'll uh I'll pick it back up whenever I'm back there. Didn't turn it off. So, uh, I'm not even putting the mic next to my mouth because I'm so salty. But how far have I fallen? This far. Back to wood and rocks. Mike probably sounds like garbage. That should make the fall a little better. Move the mic down, I guess. That should make the fall a little better for next time. Assuming there is a next time. Sure hope there isn't, but... And again, I uh, don't have any talent or skill. All right. Just me and my little maid apron just going into the end of the world. Yep. Gonna kill me and Enderman with a rock. That's all I that's all I've got. You know what? That's that's all I need. Just a normal old rock. And of course, this doesn't have looting on it. So that's just great. Because it means that I won't be able to reliably get Enderman dropping pearls. So I'm gonna do the uh, I'm gonna do the Enderman blind thing. Which uh, for those who don't know. Endermen are three blocks high. I am two blocks high. So? I can and will fit into this two block gap. Now, I didn't have the time or ability to put that last rock there. That would keep them away from me. So. Yeah, this is a this is a good way to reliably kill Enderman. I'll uh, I'll catch you guys in just another second. I I'm just going to grind up more pearls. All right. So this is basically what I've been doing. I look directly at one to aggro them. They cannot reach me, so I'll just get in here and hack at their knees. That uh, that part's still in beta. Still working on that one. Didn't drop a pearl. Uh, I'm going to be here for a while longer. I'll talk to you when I'm near the fortress. Alright, I'm starting to get a little closer. 
so I just wanted to check in. It's really far away. <laughs> like, it's really, really far away. I'm out of blocks. I've run out of blocks. Um, I could dig more, but if I run out, then I'll be really out. Um, like, if I run out of pickaxe juice, I mean, I don't want to put it into normal or easy mode again, but I'm out of, I'm out of the stuff. I'm out of, I'm out of the eyes, or the, the pearls. This sucks. I might lose all my stuff. I've already lost my XP like five times over. This is hard, you know? There's this PC Gamer article I read like years ago. Wow, I don't like that one bit. PC Gamer article I read like years ago where they talked about how Dead Space is a horror game. It's a game to scare the player. And yet they always felt more fearful. You know, not scared, but fearful in Minecraft. Because Dead Space would kill you and knock you back a checkpoint, you know? Just like, oh, well, restart. You know? You should be better at video games. Restart. But in uh, Minecraft, dying has the risk of losing everything that you've made. <laughs> like, all of the items you've built and crafted. You run the risk of losing all of them, and I'm running that risk right now. And so, ultimately... I think that's what really can apply this to being like a roguelike, is me racing for the loot that I've already earned and now need to earn my way back to is just painful. That's why Dark Souls isn't hard. Sekiro's hard, but Sekiro's unfair. I've uh, spent a lot of today playing Sekiro, by the way. I'm, uh, I just got the, the secret ending. I defeated Ishinashina with the Frozen Tear. Ishin Sword Saint. It's such a dumb name. I'm gonna dig this into like a stairway. I'm sure this is thrilling. I could talk about Sekiro some more. I think I'll have time to talk about Sekiro though. I might do a LP of Ivory Dark Soul. Even Demon Soul. Alright, took me a day, but it's one whole stack of endstone. I'm gonna go blow this on something. Be right back. Well, spent my entire stack. Only got me to there. Probably gonna have to get more. And when I run out, probably gonna have to kill some more endermen. Um. But I can see the end ship, so I guess I'll see you guys again to the moment of truth. When I can know if I'm actually getting my stuff back or, or not. But yeah. Scary nose. Well, would you look at that? Would you guess what happened? You might have even seen it. Yep, right there. Well, back in we go. This is painful. I don't know why I didn't start recording. I definitely should have. Don't have any. All right, I know what I'm doing. It's gonna take me a good 40 punches. But it is possible to punch a man of Ender to death. So come. One. Actually, no. 39. I think that was 38. I'm not sure if I got him. 37. 36. I think that might have been 36. 35. 34? 
Maybe? Or three? He might not even drop one. Thirty-two. Let's just get them all. Come on, everyone. All the warriors. Come on in. Does this mean I'll lose track? Sure does. It, it feels like it's going... It feels like it's going faster, you know? Just madly clicking. Just get your Diablo fingers on. Are they losing aggro in me? Are they getting uninterested? How dare they? Yeah, I'm gonna be here a while. Just punching the strongest regular mob in Minecraft to death. Four times. I'm doing this because I've already convinced myself that it'll be faster than just killing myself and making a stone sword again because of the sunk cost fallacy. But it's a fallacy for a reason. I've lost count. Honestly. And I'm already down here, you know, down the one-way path. Um, and obviously, I forgot to grab anything that could help me. So I don't have anything that can help me. Did I even set it to peaceful? Cripes. I don't even know if they dropped one. This is just... This is just foul. Let's make our way to the blind. See if we caught anything. I think it should... We should be able to... Oh, thank the Lord. Now, can't screw this up. Man. Should have cut my losses. I should not have come in here. Oh, and of course I can't even make it over there because I don't have an ender pearl. Alright, guess we're punching another one of these boys to death. God, I'm so stupid. Not really working. Not really working out for me, is it? Yeah, it didn't work. So, uh, just learned that I wasn't recording when I meant to be recording. Um, I've made it back to my stuff. I don't even remember what stuff this is. I've been recording for like two hours. This is already now the longest episode of Minecraft, and it might be the longest Friday Night Roguelikes. This is a silly idea, I think. Oh no, don't do this to me. Hey, all right. He didn't do it to me. Yeah, I've just been trying over and over and over again just to get back to the platform that I first fell off of. Like, getting here after, like, oh my god, it's been so problematic. But 
hopefully this should be enough. I'm not even going to throw this into pearl. No, I will. I don't want to build all that way. But I will jump shot it to make sure. Ewing. 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 Oh my god, this isn't great. This isn't exactly where I wanted to go. We're so close to it. If we haven't despawned yet, if it hasn't despawned yet, we'll get it in a matter of minutes. I just have to focus on killing this one Enderman. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, it's over. I'm going to kill myself in real life. All right. I'm nearly back to where I last died. Uh, as it happened, I uh, had a modicum of sense, and I had left tools at the entrance to the end portal. Uh, which allowed me to make a more expedient return than I typically would. Oh god, it's just a pit. Pointless. So I got an ender pearl and made a quick return. Got a second one. I'm trying to get over to the to there now. As you can see, I'm making it less and less ender pearl reliant. When I had ender pearls, I was able to zip through this thing no problem. Now that I don't, I can't, obviously. And because my current tools only dig as uh, high as wood, all of this is mind-numbingly slow. So sit back and listen to the serene sounds of me breaking my stupid wooden pickaxe on a thousand stupid little pieces of end rock. This is a very salty episode, I notice. It sure sends a interesting message. Typically, I'm not this mad on this show, but it's because Minecraft has different stakes. It's part of why I really wanted to play uh, End Cities and do it for Friday Night Roguelikes, because the stakes are so legitimate. This isn't just a Minecraft world that I've started up. It's the world that I've been Let's Playing on for several weeks, several months now. It's got... Oh, well, there's everything. If that's not enough, I may as well just kill myself. Or something else. Oh, I think that'll be enough. Not today, old friend, I say, looking at the noose in my apartment. I'm kidding, I don't have a noose. Not anymore. The people said to throw it out. Called it tacky, like they know how to decorate an apartment. Have you seen this place? Ugh. For legal reasons, that's a joke. I don't have a noose in my apartment displayed in my window. All right. I can see the bend, the bendy, the, the thing that I made. And as I mentioned, I'm making this less and less reliant on crap. Ender pearls. I'm going to need an ender pearl to get back up to there which is where I actually died. So, here's hoping. It's gonna be a miracle if, if my stuff is there. The hazards of survival Minecraft. This, this video, more than any other time while playing this game, um, has really tested my patience in terms of not just cheating and setting the game to creative mode. Because I actually, I haven't done that at all yet. <sighs> Daddy's home. Alright. Let's, um... Do nothing with those. There's the ship. That's our goal. Yeah. 
I I don't think I'm gonna go for Ender Pearls anymore. I think that's a uh, dangerous way to play. I mean, of course it is. Inherently. I don't know how big the gap is, because I hate having to run back. I have no idea how long this episode's going to be. This is going to be like a three-hour episode. Like, I might even have to split this into two. Oh, my stakes. Yeah, like, if, if I see this starting to get above 30, above an hour by, by much... I will make this into two episodes. Which also means that I'll take a week hiatus on my ground. Because, man, I am exhausted after recording this. <laughs> okay. What's the best point of... I think it's this. Going from this corner here. I miss being able to hold right click with swords and block. Yeah, that was kind of weird. I was hitting the buttons, but it weren't happening. Probably because I just selected the sword and then selected a block again. Like, nothing was wrong. Oh, man. Even if I'm not able to get back to the elytra, or uh, get back to my stuff, I will be able to get the elytra and get the stuff that I put in the editor chest in here. I can see the other... Oh, I can see it. Oh, I can see it. Please. Just edge it out a little, a little more this way. Okay, now if I drop, I might make it. Now if I drop, I'll definitely make it. go time now if there is another pit in the way of me and that I'm gonna kill myself <sighs> I'm shaky I'm tired but I'm adventuring I don't know if my stuff's gonna be there my the odds aren't good <laughs> I'll be honest they're not great I've been very far away from it Oh, brother. Bam. Playing risky. Yeah, if this video ends up being like an hour-long video of me losing my items, then <laughs> I'm just going to bust out the Drano. Start doing shots. Okay, now I need to remember where I actually need to go to get my stuff. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm just not going to take chances. Less chances, at least. Like those. Chances like those. Okay, so it wasn't here. Because this is where this... This is where that weird ladder is. Yep, right there. But it could be the floor up. Also, why do I hear... This doesn't bode well. I'm getting too excited. That's a, that's definitely a shulker box. Why do I hear... Why do I hear that? Does shulker boxes... spawn here? I mean, I know they do. So it would be here, right? 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm going lightheaded. Please don't take this out of context. I'm just very pleased to get my Minecraft items back. <sighs> oh. <sighs> oh. My God, I just got so lightheaded. <sighs> well. I had a good run as a Buddhist, but I think I am going to have to be a Christian Catholic now after what Jesus Christ has done for me. I'm not even talking into my microphone. Eep. Not again. But I've got the I've got the thingy now. So I'll be able to take a mortal blow. What the hell is happening out there? Am I hitting my head on something? No, Connor. I mean, Alfred. I'm so, I'm so severe I called myself by my middle name. I am! What the hell is that crap? This is a dead end. There was never anything up here. There was never any reason for me to be up here. The whole thing's a dead end. All of it. It was for nothing. Uh, the whole thing was for nothing. Now why are you here? We're in peaceful mode. Do you still spawn in peaceful mode? I guess you must, otherwise you wouldn't be here. God, I hit my head on a block. That was why. I just did it. Panic is real. I quit. I'm going... You know, I, I'm... I got more than I expected. At some point, I stopped expecting my stuff back. Let's sideload a few more things in here. Let's just get it out. Let's just get it all out. Let's just get it out of my inventory. I'll take these. Okay. So the next is that one. There might be some treasure up there. Oh, my brain feels like it's melting. just keeps getting stranger and stranger. Oh, right. Whoa. I have diamond armor. Whoa. Looting and mending? Hi. Hello. I like that. That's amazing. I'm a little... I'm a little disappointed that it's not a diamond sword that has looting and mending after all that I did. Are you kidding me? Is that a joke? But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. 
Big boys don't cry. Is this crap? Oh, brother. All right. Shoot me. Yep. diamond armor I've never had diamond armor before I have a whole set I've never even had diamond armor <gasps> I gotta stop doing that the only people I heard is me all right still not finding what I'm looking for not the U2 song U2 sucks Still getting those. Okay. I'm not, I just don't want to do it, so I'm just going to dig my way across. Why did I teleport away? That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Useless. I can hear a storm brewing outside. That's good. Yippee. So who lived in the end cities? These rooms don't really appear proportioned. Wow, that's so cool. For Endermen. Like, look at this. You can't actually get up that. No one can, but it's certainly not an Enderman. Wow, so there's not even that much loot in here. Oh man, my hands are sweating. find how to get oh gosh I'm so high up where's the ship oh I can stand on you it's a great idea to attack the thing you're standing on right That's still connected. <gasps> no! It almost happened again. I must be the dumbest and luckiest and stupidest and dumbest and most kismacious person alive. Now, where's that dumb... God, I'm trying not to swear. So pardon my Francois. But where's the freaking pirate ship? won't kill me okay it's so far away wow yeah I'm not even gonna play ball over there I'm just gonna go right over here wow, I've got so many loots purple pillar 
so let's try and find oh man it's even over a pit too huh that's just peachy freaking keen I'm gonna stop recording and build up a thing. I didn't realize that last clip went on for about 20 minutes without a cut. This is shaping up to be a rather long episode, but it feels very, very long because I've been recording it all at once. Um, I took a little break to eat a bowl of cereal, as I mentioned. Just got a few things out of my inventory. Uh, and then let's get this out. Pip, pip. We're getting close. All right. This will be. Hmm. I want to call it the SS. Don't really want an HMS. Well, let's go TMS. Like, Their Majesty's Ship. I know that no one's ever done that before, but I like it. That sounds cool. Oh! Wow. Obsidian, huh? That's interesting. Bam. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff, I don't even have room for it all. What do I even... Well, geez, should I get the diamond sword? Should I... Should I get the elytra? Should I keep the wooden pickaxe? Oh, man. That'll be a cruel joke for anyone who finds this place after me. Oh, wow. These things weren't very useful, actually. Sorry, not sorry. All right. Oh, wow, my chest looks great. All right. I'm super, super spooked. It works. It really works. Which is good because if I fall, I'll drop everything I've ever gotten into hell. Into nothing. Into nowhere, even. Oh. It really works. It works. I've, um... I've got to get home now. Wherever that is. Oh, there's another one right over there. Oh. I see it. I'm not going to go in there. I have... I have hurt too much. I have just... I've been in too much pain. Okay, still got my pearls. Got diamonds. Oh, I got so many... I got goodies, everyone. I got so many friggin' goodies. Okay, I hope that I can make this. I can, I can. Okay. This is the coolest thing ever. I've never gotten an elytra legitimately. actually need the uh the little bridge there i'm just making it easier for myself i already, uh, already dumped those that's fine 
These are everywhere. I can come back and get them. Especially now that I can fly. Flight certainly makes life much easier. I would, I would, I would say. Confidently, I would say. Now, the one complaint that uh, some people have with an elytra is that it can't be armored. I don't mind since my chest looks super cute. I like seeing my little apron. I'm, um, I'm not lost. Okay, I'm kind of lost. Oh, that's interesting. You can kind of just half drop yourself. Kind of like fishtailing there. Okay. You guys don't see, need to see my whole run back. So I'll I'll see you when I see you. Uh, hi. I didn't intend to come back this fast. Um. Uh, I just had a heart attack, but some very quick thinking saved me. Not a real heart attack. I'm exaggerating for the sake of, you know what I mean. Um. I flew into one of my own like posts. I was trying to fly back onto my bridge there, but I was a block too short and ran face first into it and started falling into the end. Yeah, that bridge over there, the, the one that goes curvy. I was one block too short on my little nerd pole over there, and I fell into it. Um, and I very, very quickly just... Oh, I'm still just kind of reeling about it. I was able to... Pull myself back on a course so I could fly just with cruise control for a little bit. And then I put the ender pearls on my hotbar. And I threw one and got myself to this, got myself higher. And then I could get myself to one of the lower rungs of an island. Um, because when I first threw the ender pearl, pearl, I just, I just hit a wall. And I was just coming down off of it sideways. <sighs> that was that was too much. That was too scary. Too much excitement for one day. This yeah, this might really need to be more than one episode. Just cuz like man, what a whole bunch of things happen in it. I'm still reeling from half of them. I still can't believe I found my items again. That was a godsend. I'll be honest. I watch uh, VTubers here and there. And there's this one named uh, Pekora. I think Usagi Pekora is her name. She's a little like bunny girl VTuber. For those who don't know, a VTuber is a virtual, uh, virtual YouTuber. They are um, people usually, uh, Japanese women are the most well-known or common examples. Let's see if I can make this. Nope, I'm not going to make that. I can already tell. Oh, goodness. My hands are sweating. Um, anyway, Usada Pekora is uh, a Japanese lady. She VTubes, so she is in character as a uh, like anime girl, essentially. And there was this one video where um, she goes to sleep. Her friend is playing on the same server. Her friend tries to go to sleep. Her friend is in the nether. Uh, her friend blows up and dies and loses all of her items. Uh, and Pekora er, is pretty sure that she's lost her items. Pekora, being a nice, nice person, um, tries to go and help her get them back. 
Um, and she doesn't succeed. She's only like, ah, she's so, she was so close, guys. She was like a couple of minutes away from them. If she, if, if they had been a little higher up, she could have got them in time. But it was one of those, it was one of those Minecraft deaths where you can like even see the, the items despawn almost. Um, I'll be honest, that one really hurt. And the way that she reacted to it, where she just, she started freaking out immediately. And she was like, this isn't funny. Like, like it was a joke. Like one of those things where like, it, it's not a joke, but like your, your defense mechanism that like, it has to be a joke because this can't be real has kicked in. Like that was happening real time on stream. Uh, and I'll be honest, I, uh, I, I started crying. <laughs> I, I started like crying. That's not the embarrassing part of the story. Um, God, should I even tell this? Should, can, and will. So I was uh, staying up late, being a general bastard like I am. Oh my God, I'm home. I was staying up late, being a bastard like I usually am. My wife was asleep next to me, but I was watching videos in bed. And I was so sad. I was so, I was just freaking out so hard. I had to wake my wife up so she could comfort me. Anyway, that's, uh, that's not Friday Night Row Likes just yet. Neither is it Minecraft. We've got our trophy. We've got some good loot. But it's not over yet. Minecraft. Directed by Hatsune Miku. I see the player you mean. Elf Prince Alfred? Yes. Take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we are part of the game. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as though they were words on a screen. That is how it chooses to imagine many things when it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface, flexible, less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. You used to hear voices before players could read. Back in the days when they didn't, when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks. Players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What does the player dream? The player dreamed of sunlight and trees, fire and water. Dream was created. Dream destroyed. Hunted and was hunted. Dream of Shelter, the original interface, million years old, still works. Oh, God. Works for a million others. I cannot read that thought. No, it has not achieved the highest level. Must achieve that in the long dream of life, not the short dream of game. Does know we love it? The universe is kind. The noise of the thoughts that hear the universe. There are times when it's sad in the long dream. It creates worlds that have no summer. God, it reads our thoughts. And yet they play the game. It'd be so easy to tell them. Too strong for this dream. To tell them how to live is to prevent them from living. I will not tell the player how to live. The player's growing restless. I will tell the player a story, but not the truth. No, a story that contains the truth safely in case of words. In a cage of words. Not the naked truth that could burn over any distance. Give it a body again. Yes, player. Use its name. Elf Prince Alfred, player of games. Good. Take a breath. Now take another. Feel air in your lungs. Let your limbs return. Move your fingers. Have a body again, under gravity and air. Respawn in the long dream. There you are. Your body touching the universe again at every point. As though you were separate things. As though we were separate things. Who are we? Once we were called the Spirit of the Moon, Father, Son, Mother, Moon, Spirit of the Mountain. God. The thun's quarks. The words change. We don't change. Once upon a time, there was a player. The player was you. Sometimes it thought itself human on the thin crust of a spitting globe of molten rock. The ball of molten rock circled a ball of blazing gas. There was three. God. A woman gathered the atoms. She drank and ate and inhaled, and the woman assembled the player in her body. The player woke from the warm, dark world of its mother's body in the long dream. And the player was a new story, never told before. You are the player, the story, the program, the human, made from nothing but milk and love. This is... <sighs> this is new. Some of these are new, I think. For those who don't know, this is called The End Poem. It's a piece of work that... Um, one of the original developers for Minecraft commissioned someone to write. 
It's very odd. It reminds me of the concept of Chim from Morrowind, if you're familiar, or Kim, Kaim. The universe said, I love you. The universe said, you've played the game well. The universe said, everything you need is within you. You are stronger than you know. You are the daylight. You are the night. The darkness you fight is within you. The light you seek is within you. You are not alone. You're not separate from every other thing. You are the universe tasting itself, talking to itself, reading its own code. You, I love you because you are love. And the game was over and the player woke up from the dream. The player began a new dream. And the player dreamed again and dreamed better. And the player was the universe and the player was love. You are the player. Wake up. I honestly don't know about it. It's kind of weird. Because, like, it's, you know, obviously a, a whole thing of, like, dude, what if the game is reality and, and reality is the game, you know? But it's not exactly what it's doing. It just... It's very odd. I don't dislike it. Um, in terms of memorable endings, it's almost got nothing going on. It's just a scrolling poem on a screen after you defeat a boss that has no context or lore or anything. Just a thing that exists. <sighs> and then you get this where it's like, hey, something weird is happening. Certainly something. No one knows what, but it is. And that's all that we will say about it. Um, yeah, it's just very odd. It's so, it's so strange, you know? I, I honestly don't even know what to think or say about it. Um, the end poem, and I, I do think that it is a very interesting sorry I'm just texting my friend I think it's a very interesting ending to a game um you know cause like you think about games where like the ending is like I don't know let's even think about endings of games like the ending of Morrowind ending of Half-Life 1 like in Half-Life 1 uh, G-Man's just like hey we're just gonna throw you in somewhere thanks for shooting the Nylanth um, see you in six years, seven years, maybe. I don't know. Um, and like, yeah, that was that was the ending of Half Life for six years, and then the ending of this is this contextless boss you kill, this dragon. You kill that, and yeah, like <laughs> Linus Comcellius, huh? Lucas Morales. But yeah, it's just so... And, like, it's... It's speaking to the player, very obviously. Like, explicitly. It's the whole point of the poem. Where, um... I don't know. I don't even know what to say about it. Like... I'm, I'm it's just so far out of the way. It's just so weird. <laughs> like, yeah, it's just... It's weird. <laughs> That's all I've really got to say about it. I, I it, it is just taken, taken away from me and how strange it is. <sighs> Normally I try to sit through credits, but I will skip these. And hey, we're back here. But we're going to do a sneaky on. Because I don't want to walk all that way. And even though I will be back here, it won't be for a little bit. Oops. So I'm going to... Just sneak in here. Why does it keep getting dark? The lighting keeps breaking here. This is what I get for not bringing my own torches. Can't trust these dungeon spawn torches. <laughs> That's the uh, the last of the tools I left here. I'm glad my last success, my last attempt was successful. 
So I've come back. But I've destroyed my spawn point. So now, when I go through the end portal, it'll drop me back at the world spawn point. As though I didn't have a bed, because according to the game, I now don't. It's in my hand. I can't respawn there. Respawn. There's no D in that word. And in we go. <sighs> and we're finally back. The 64 levels I got off of the Ender Dragon are all wasted and gone. I spent three real world hours and probably about 30 attempts, 30 deaths, trying to get my stupid freaking items back. I made it as much of the video as I could without saying a real swear. But that doesn't matter now. Because we're finally home. There's a storm brewing outside. We're here. We're finally here. Oh, let's drop off the treasure. Oh. That was... That was exhausting. In a way. In a very real way, it was exhausting. Yeah, well, let's, let's put this one over by the bees. I don't know if bees like chorus flowers, but this will be how we find out. <laughs> this will be. Wow. That's a... Uh, that was a really long episode. That was exhausting to record, and I already know it's going to be exhausting to edit. But we did it. We finally finished it. We got an elytra. It's all done. That's everything. Wow. I mean, we still got that. Still got a lot to do. Day ain't over yet, but. Oh. Oh, I'm going to go I'm going to take a break. I'm going to sit down and have a snack. I'm tired. I've got more than a full set of diamond armor. I'm even wearing some. Suffice it to say, I love this game. I'm having a good time, still. I'll see you guys whenever I next post Minecraft. Oh man. I am certainly tired though. All right. 
Thanks for coming by. I've been Alfred. That has officially been Friday Night Roguelikes. Holy crap. Thanks for coming by. Remember that the darkness that you fight is in you. The light you seek is in you. And I love you. <laughs>